Maui police released body camera footage from officers who responded to the August 8th wildfires across the island. KITV4's Maui Bureau Chief Ali Dukalo gives us the first-hand look at how the officers were trying to save lives. They were knocking down fences so people could escape, going door to door urging people to flee, risking their own safety to move people from harm's way. I want you to think about this. From the very beginning on the 8th, you saw officers saving lives. Maui Police Chief John Pelletier says the department decided to host Monday's press conference to show the video because under state transparency law, Monday marked the deadline for them to release the footage. Well, for us to release all that and not tell this tale would not be right. Pelletier and the other officers arguing the video demonstrates how dedicated the officers were despite public criticism. What is not said is that of the 13 Maui Police Department officers and staff members that work and live in Lahaina, 11 of them lost everything to include family members and their homes. We can't forget our officer who lived in Kula, who lost his cottage and had his house burned by the Kula fire. So to say that the Maui Police Department did not do their due diligence to save lives is false. After reviewing the video, Pelletier admits there are some learning lessons. He says that the department is considering a policy change requiring officers to activate their body cameras once they are dispatched instead of when they arrive on scene so they may capture more footage. Ali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.